called CERN. It makes me very concerned. Mm -hmm. C E R N. The uh, Hadron, I think it's pronounced, Hadron Collider. Okay? It's turned on two days from today, so when you watch the show, it's already on. Unless they have a breakdown. <laughs> Do you want to tell the people what it is? I have pictures. There's one. There it is on the screen. Yeah. This is the biggest machine in the world. How many until today did not know about this? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. Come on. That's a, almost 100%. 99% of this audience never heard of this. This is the biggest machine ever made in the world in history. I believe it's 17 miles long. It's in France and Switzerland. If you see a map, it's the, the map, it's a circle. Yeah. It would be almost five miles across. And the reason they buried it under the ground is because they might have an oops. And you know, back, uh, uh -huh. back yeah. when we were testing nuclear warheads, we'd take them deep down underneath the yeah. earth because yeah. you wouldn't want to blow one of these up on the surface of the earth, right? Right. right. I'm curious how they got permission to dig that many miles under France and under Switzerland. And uh, th this is what the, the headline, I, I don't know if it's, it's just this week, I think. This is the headline. S Stephen Hawking, he calls uh, the God particle could destroy the universe. He keeps warning. He's supposed to be one of the most brilliant minds in, ever in history. And he keeps warning that this, he calls it God particles. Do you understand this at all? Well, the Higgs, I don't. The Higgs boson is traditionally called the God particle, and they part of what they want to do with the collider, it's not the only thing they're doing there, is they want to see if they can discover the Higgs boson or the God particle. Essentially, we Christians would say they're looking for how God holds everything together. That's why they call it the God particle. Well, I Some read where it's what you're made up of. And what all matter, I guess, is well, made well, up that's, of. Well, that's exactly right. It's what we're made up of. It's also what's holding us together. They're trying to find Jesus, but they don't want to find Jesus. So they're trying yeah. to find what, it, yeah. what is it that holds all matter together. That's one of the things they're looking for. Uh, the, the, what, the, what CERN does, that big circle, it accelerates particles in that big circle, around and around and around and around until they're traveling at in, just enormous velocity. Mm -hmm. And then they collide these particles together. And in that moment, it creates a moment that they think is kind of how the Big Bang started the whole universe. That's mm -hmm. the whole purpose behind it. However, they also believe that there are parallel realities around us, other dimensions, and there could be other intelligence there. Another thing we Christians already know, right? Why not just come and ask us? You don't need to build a collider. However, there's a reason God put them on the other side of that veil, and you might not want to open the door. Oh. And, and, and here's the thing. Okay. Their, own, their own director of CERN has gave uh, uh, interviews to the British press in which he admits that's what they're trying to do. They want to open a door to another dimension. And he said, when we open this door, he said, something might come through it into our reality. Or he said, we might send something through it into their reality. You can look that up. It's in the British press. Where the CERN was built, this is St. Genus Poeli. That's the name of the township. But in ancient days, guess what it was called? It was called Apaliacom. It was literally a temple to the god Apollo because they believe that's the gateway to the underworld. Uh -huh. there, went, I saw a goddess. I, and I was looking at all these pictures. That's her. Shiva. Actually, they built, uh, the, the, they have the, the god, the Hindu god of destruction that destroys at the molecular level is right out in front of the offices of CERN and it's that's, dedicated it's the to offices. Shiva. I'm going to put it on the screen. You'll show it. It's so Because I've seen it, and I said, this is a false god. What in the... I, didn't, I, I couldn't find anything about it because I, I need to get some books and read a little right. bit more. And, and, but you go online and type in uh, the Hadron, or you can actually type in uh, CERN. CERN comes up with all of it as well. And all the pictures, it's the most beautiful. I mean, it's like Satan. It's the most beautiful thing. I mean, for a guy... It's like the biggest tinker toys in the world. I mean, it's beyond the blues, the reds, the colors in this thing. And yet, it's, it's, there's a goddess 
at the offices, at the where they go to work there, that build this thing. And you say, well, it's not important for us to know. It's time for the church to stop glorifying ignorance. <laughs> yeah. I'm wow. serious. That's good. That's he good. said, I don't want that day to come upon you unaware. Yeah. Tom, help me out. <laughs> you have a brilliant mind. Oh, my goodness. You have an inquiring mind, I'll tell you that. Uh, yeah, I'm like, kind of like you. I have a dangerous mind. Yes. Right? yes. Yeah. Just get in yes. trouble yes. all the time. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to say anything else about that? Because well, I got just, one last yeah. question, yeah. then we're going okay. to... Okay, just, just that that's it, that it's named after Apollyakam, the gateway to the god Apollo. But what does the book of Revelation say? Yeah, absolutely, that an angel comes down with a key to the bottomless pit and opens that gateway. And guess who is the god down in there? The king over the bottomless pit, Apollyon, Abaddon. The king of the bottomless pit, and we're trying right there to open Boy, a gateway smart lady. that is, yeah. Let the front row lady. Yeah, I'll us. get her to make some notes for me. I'll use them next wow. time. Incredible. Yeah. This, so, this is shocking. I, I, it really, all, all the, God gave me this yesterday. Said, I want it, you to talk it, about this and ask Tom. I didn't know Tom knew a thing about it. Mm -mm. But God said the That's, people yeah. need to know. Right. Mm -hmm. Jim, can yeah. I say one comment here? And I knew, just John, because you, you know what's going on. Well, you know, when we was talking back there, I said, you know, it sounds to me like you're describing they're trying to open the door, the, to the gate to hell. Right. Okay. Well, yeah. here's, here's the yeah. thought. Mm -hmm. uh, God literally sealed and locked demons into the earth that would not be released until the last days mm -hmm. and now we have evidence that man is the one that's trying to open the door mm -hmm. and release them right. right it's really crazy it's right there revelation you, you know 